So another thing that we can do by visually assessing the animal um, is to do a FAMACHA scoring. So FAMACHA scoring is again on a scale of one to five but it's opposite of body condition scoring. So one is ideal and five is, um, is the worst case. And so FAMACHA scoring is a scoring system developed where we gauge the color of um, the lower eyelid. So it's the cover, cover the eye, push on the eye a little bit, not to where it hurts the animal, but just push on the eye a little bit and then pull down on the lower eyelid, and then you see that bright red lower, third, lower eyelid pop out. That bright red is ideal. This, this animal will be in a FAMACHA score of one, meaning that there are uh, so few parasites in here feeding on red blood cells that this animal has a lot of red blood cells. And this animal is, is, is not experiencing any anemia, meaning that that those, those parasites are feeding on blood and they get into uh, a low red blood cell status and they have difficult time carrying oxygen through the body. They get lethargic, stop eating. And that's how most internal parasites or the most problematic internal parasites cause harm to sheep or goats. We also might look inside the gums to look and see if it's pale. That's a nice pink color. Um, and we would also, it, this one is more when you're done looking away from them. If they don't have a, a, a large tail, we might look back in the vulva area. When they get into scores of four and five where they're very anemic, even that right there is gonna start uh, paling out. And then whenever we have massive problems with parasites, the animals would be so low in red blood cells that uh, fluid just comes out of the blood into the capillaries. The capillaries don't pull it back in. And so when the animal is down grazing, the weight pulls that down and then we get this big bottle jaw. So they'll get a big kind of saggy, lumpy jaw up underneath. We never want to use that as our indicator because if they get to that stage, they're so anemic that we've done a lot of pasture contamination and we've really compromised animal health. So much uh, as a strategy to minimize uh -huh. So some operators, particularly uh, smaller farm flock operators who have the ability to handle their animals regularly, will use a system of using FAMACHA scoring. And if an animal is on a FAMACHA score of one or two, they're never drenched. If they're a score of three, they're only drenched if they're in low body condition and or they have a young animal nursing on them because we know that they're gonna have a harder time fighting off parasites. Animals that are just in maintenance or in early stages of gestation or in breeding cycle, we probably wouldn't drench threes, and then we would drench fours and fives uh, to protect animal health. Um, in that, you keep very accurate and detailed records of FAMACHA scoring, and only breeding animals that are kept back would be those that were in scores of one and two even when there's a significant portion of the rest of the flock needing treatment because they're falling into scores of three, four, and five.